What's up everyone, Willie Apple here, and today I'm going to be going over my wish list for iOS 19. We've got a lot of things to talk about, let's get started. Now, the first thing I want happening is if you go to your lock screen, you know how there are focus linking? What if there was home screen linking? So what I want is you can have multiple home screens just like you can have multiple lock screens right here. And my idea is basically just have a separate home screen. So, so for example, if this was my school home screen, I would only have school related apps. If this was my work home screen, if I use my phone for work, I would have only work related apps and etc. Now you can do this with focus filters, but those are just home screen pages, not actual home screens themselves. I want multiple home screens per app. All right, so the next thing I want are accessory home, accessory lock screen widgets on the home screen. So if you don't know what I mean, these are accessory widgets. This is accessory rectangular and accessory circular. So these are the two different sizes that you can have. And there's also accessory inline, which is what, which is what the storage widget is up here. What if instead of just accessory small or accessory large or accessory medium widget, what if we just had accessory circular and accessory rectangular widgets on the lock screen, they would be the size of app icons and maybe two app icons squished together. I think that would be very nice to have on the home screen, especially for more like minimalist, smaller widgets. So you could have more information on a lock screen on a home screen at a time. Now, next thing I want is a widget manager. So inside of here, everything is sorted by app. And if you were to search for, I don't know, a storage widget, you would not find anything. So I want to be able to search up a storage widget. So in order to do that, you have to go into Willy widgets right here. And only then will you find yourself your storage widget. So unfortunately, you, you cannot search for your widgets at all. You can only search by app. I like what they're doing right here where they're just suggesting widgets but I want you to just be able to search whichever widget you want. And we'll just come up right there and maybe add some tags for developers. So for example, if there was a battery widget, you could add the keywords power. If you search up power, those would show up right there. So just an updated widget manager would be nice. Also, something else I don't like is apps that have multiple widgets, like Willy widgets right here. You're going to see that there are two different widgets, one for the small, one for the medium sized widget. And what I want is basically for them to just combine them together. So for example, small, and then it would just go to the next page and then you would get to your calendar widget, for example. And then to get to your medium widget, you would press a button right here. I'm going to show you what, and then it will just switch to medium, switch to large. So that way you don't need to have all of these widget sizes indicated as a different widget. Something similar in macOS Big Sur to macOS Ventura, but actually got removed and swapped out with the iOS behavior, which I still don't like to this day. Now, the next thing I want are home screen icon themes. So we do have this customized page right here and you can tint your app icons, whatever color you want like that. However, what if you're able to color the background? For example, what if I want the background to be green and then the icons to be red? I think that'd be very nice, something that Apple could easily do without having developer interference, just as long as they supported it for iOS 18 apps icons, then everything will be good. Now, the next thing I want is for Apple to force developers to have dark mode icons. So for example, Snapchat right here, they have this yellow background and I just removed it off my home screen except for this video. And I just basically want the Apple to force these developers to have a dark icon. In fact, maybe use an AI that will just see if the icon is actually dark or not. And if, and if it is considered a light mode icon with no transparent background whatsoever, maybe just make the icon just an S, for example, for Snapchat and use the app's accent color to color that S. Because it is kind of ridiculous that Snapchat right here is not adding a dark icon. They actually did have a dark icon at one point, but now it's been removed for some reason. So yeah, that is not a nice thing to see from Snapchat. Hopefully Snapchat can also update their dark mode icon. I actually removed a ton of apps off of my home screen. It's basically all just dark mode icons and that's it. Now, the next thing I want will probably be for an iPhone 15 Pro exclusive, maybe iPhone 16, and it is Stage Manager for iPhones. Now, you may be like, the screen's too small. How is that going to work? Well, what if you were able to plug in a monitor to the USB-C port? So and then the next step would be to pair a mouse and a keyboard to it. 
and you'll be able to use your iPhone like an iPad in Stage Manager. I think that'd be a really nice feature for them to add. It's pretty self-explanatory, so let's move on to the next feature. Now, something I want on the Pro Max iPhone, which I think will be supported pretty easily, is Split View. So let's say I want threads right here and I also want Safari at the same time. And you'll just be able to use them both. In fact, there's a very small window size in Stage Manager on iPad. So I'm pretty sure Apple will be able to add that feature pretty easily for the Pro Max iPhones. Now it would be kind of a stretch for them to add it to this kind of iPhone, the normal iPhones or the normal Pros. So if they were able to just add it to the Plus and the Pro Max iPhones, I think I would drive more revenue towards Pro Max and Plus iPhones in the future, instead of just having normal and Pro iPhones being sold more. Now, obviously, I would want Apple to keep the Pro iPhone around since I think this iPhone is the perfect size. I don't want it to get any bigger. Just don't make the phones bigger. Just keep them this size and just add that as an option for Pro Max phones. The next thing I want is basically wallpaper customization and text bubble customization inside the Messages app. So Apple has adopted RCS and they now got to make the iMessage special again. Now, obviously iMessage is still better than RCS in a couple of ways. However, what if you're just able to customize the fonts, customize the background, customize the bubbles, and basically anything inside of here, kind of like with the lock screen right here. So I think if you're able to add a wallpaper, change the color of the text messages, and change the color of the bubbles, for example, that'd be a very nice feature for Apple to add. And now let's move on to the next feature. Now the next thing I want are timeline entries for live activities. So if you're wondering what timeline entries are, it's basically just the feature for widgets that allows you to customize what it shows at a specific time. So what I think it could be a really good example of this is with one of the sun or moon widgets inside of Willy Widgets were a live activity. I think I would personally prefer that a lot considering I'd like to know when the sunrise and sunset is, specifically for the sun widget, not really for the moon widget, but, but also I can only really show the hours in here for this live activity. I can't really show the days and everything else, only the hours. So what if you're able to just add timeline entries to the live activity and the live activity would just update right then and there and just show that new information. I think that would be a really nice feature for live activities. And so you're not required to always have server for example. Now I'm gonna say this right now, the TV app is better on Android than iOS. Now the reason why I say this is because if I were to go inside the TV app right here, you will see that there are a bunch of TV Plus apps, but if you're searching up a movie and you think it's on TV Plus for example, let's just do For All Mankind. This is a really good example of this. So if I were to just search up For All Mankind, you'll see that there are two versions. One for Apple TV Plus and one that is just completely paid. So I think Apple should just filter out these paid results. I personally don't want to buy any movies off of Apple TV. I would only want to watch the TV Plus movies. So if Apple were to just add this ability to filter all these results out, for example, with a toggle or something or a checkbox, I think that would be really nice for them to do. And maybe I would watch TV Plus again, who knows? Now, the next thing I want is inside of Bluetooth settings. I want a toggle inside of here that is auto connect. So what if I'm not driving this car? My phone will be connected, we start playing my music, and what if I'm not the driver? I want to be able to just manually connect to this device. I just don't want to not have it connect randomly without my consent. That's basically what I want here with, with this auto connect feature that I'm talking about. Self-explanatory, let's move on to the next feature. Now the next thing I want has to do with the music app. So if I were to go inside of the music app right here, and if I were to play a song, and then let's say I wanted to start playing music here on my MacBook. Now, how would I be able to play that easily? Well, I would want to just open up the MacBook, press the button on the dock, and I would just start playing that music on the MacBook instead of the iPhone. Instead, what I gotta do is go inside the music app, choose that song, choose that time that I'm at, for example, if I'm at 201, I got to choose 201 on the MacBook. I just don't want to do that anymore. I just want to be able to just start playing music straight on my MacBook if I want to start playing it on my MacBook, even though I was already on my iPhone playing them on my iPhone. It's kind of weird considering Apple has that feature for every other app besides Apple Music. So Apple, it should, it's about time to just add that feature to Apple Music for once and for all. The next feature here is multiple volume sliders. So for example, if I were to press this right here, let's say that I want a volume for 
music, for alarms, for ringtones, for example. Now, you do need to go inside of settings. You do have some level of control for that, but not as like Android and Windows. So if you were to press on the volume slider right here, and then if you were to tap and hold, I think is a good idea to do, you'll get multiple volume sliders and you'll just be able to control volume however you want. For example, if one app is playing in the background, for example, what if two apps are playing music in the background? You'll be able to control the music from just right here. And I think that would just be a really good idea for them to add, just adding two features and one for this one, controlling volume for multiple different features in iOS, and also playing multiple different songs inside of multiple different apps. So for example, if I were playing Roblox, I don't want my music to pause inside of Apple Music, for example. And lastly, my last wish for iOS 19 is multiple clipboard slots. So let's say I wanted to tap and hold right here and then press on copy. And let's say I want to copy something else. So for example, if I want to copy this right here, I'll just copy that. And then let's say I want to paste stuff now. So if I were to just press and hold this paste button, maybe it would just show up everything I copied before and maybe it would expire. So it doesn't take up a lot of RAM or storage or whatever. So if I am able to just paste, 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 I think that'd just be a really nice feature to have. Anyways, that's all of my wishes for iOS 19. I hope you're excited for WWDC as I am right here. I'll be going live reacting to iOS 19 being released on WWDC. So stay subscribed for that. And also I'll be doing in-depth coverage on iOS iOS 19, Mac OS 16, and pretty much everything else. So stay subscribed for that as well. And thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, share this with your friends. Tell my apps, Willy Widgets, Willy Study, and Willy Dreams down in the description down below. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.